great job tonight. Were you surprised this was going to be out there? I mean, the original reports were that he was going to be injured and probably wasn't going to be a factor in the game. Um, kind of, but you kind of expect every every one of their players to play until uh, they don't. But yeah, I was a little surprised to see that, knowing that a couple of days ago we heard that he wasn't going to play. Right. What are you most looking forward to here in South? Um, just getting to play a top team like that, um, you don't get you don't really get chances like that to play playoff teams and teams of that caliber. So I think it's just gonna be a great experience and a good challenge for us. When you go back to that that play where you forced the fumble, tell us what you saw, what you were thinking. Obviously, you want to make a play like that. But yeah. What was different about this one? Uh, this one was everyone. Our whole defense is pretty much on that tackle if you watch it. And everyone did a great job of holding up for long enough for me to get it out. So I just saw him getting held up, and he was just still slowly gaining a couple of yards. And I knew that uh, I was like the fourth man in, so I had a chance to just try to strip it and make a play. Anything else for David? Right, thank you. Thank you, David. First thing first, do I have any blue cookie in my nose? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's two for two. You didn't have any other press numbers. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, you know, that's my <laughs> Okay, we've got senior running back Gerald Wright had a career high in carries and yards. Uh, I'll have to do a little more research, but it's at least the most carries by an Aggie since 2013. Um, I'll get to that later on tonight. So we'll have Gerald open up with a comment on how he thought the offense played tonight, and then we'll take questions. Uh, the offense didn't play great. Um, we kind of took a step back. Uh, a lot of turnovers, I believe it was three. Um, the execution in the run game was decent. We can do a lot better. Um, we can catch the balls more, so uh, we still got a chip on our shoulder to be better than what we played today. So, questions? You look pretty beat up for the end of that game. Yeah, man. And that's what happened, man. How I many? 36 carries. So that's what happened when you got that many carries. You, know, you get roughed up a little bit. <laughs> you ever carry the ball that much? You can go back to high school when you were quarterback? Yes, in high school I had probably 36 carries as well, my most carries in high school. So, yeah. Yes, I mean, Gerald, how much did it mean to you? You fumbled early there in the game. How much did it mean to you that the coaching staff showed that faith in you when you went out there and you were able to reward them for their faith in you? Well, I know my coaches got, you know, they got confidence in me. They believe in me just as much as I believe in them when they're play calling and their schemes and what they do. So um, as, a, as a player, you got to have a short-term memory loss, move on to the next play because that next play can be the best play. So, so you left the fumble out of your mind. You didn't use it as extra motivation, maybe? To be honest, I kind of forgot about it until just now, so. <laughs> so, the last couple of years, you've been kind of splitting carries. So, this year with Jam, last year with Thurman. What was it like for you to have a game where you're basically the only running back there running for most of the game? Oh, uh, you know, it's a good feeling. It's a confidence booster. Um, you know, some guys, some backs like to complain and be like, ah, oh, coach, I'm not getting in the rhythm. We go in every other series and stuff like that. But you gotta trust the coaches, trust the process, and um, you know today I was just I was just good enough to get in that that little decent rhythm so we could win this game. Do you have a favorite moment from the game tonight? Uh, I don't. I was just they was just calling plays and I would just get the ball and then I just ran it. So. <laughs> Are you able to relax now? Yeah, I think probably my favorite play when Jordan threw that that touchdown pass to Caleb Rapp. That was that was nice. I like that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just, uh, I mean, obviously you lost to uh, Andy last week with injury and you played tonight. Uh, how, how good of a job did the offensive line do, especially in the running game tonight? Uh, the, offense, the offensive line did well. You know, it's always the next guy up mentality. So the guys that are not, that you're going to see playing a lot because the starters are out there, we got backup guys that can just come in and play right away. And, you know, that's good for our team so we can have great depth. So when a guy goes down or a guy gets tired, Another guy comes right in. We don't miss a beat. Uh, 
uh, at those moments, like my coach said, you got to know your why. You got to know what you play football for, what you do it for, and why you're doing it. So every 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 play, I just remember my why. When I knew I or thought I was going to get the ball, I just I just focus and remember my why. So you're, you're from the south. What's it going to be like getting back to those roots? I'm I'm happy, bro. I ain't been home like forever. And, you know, I'm from Pensacola, so Baton Rouge. That's probably like two three hours from where I'm from. So. And like I told the radio, that's the second game my mama like ever going to see me play in college. So, so hopefully I play real good. <laughs> you have a lot of tickets for that game. You see a lot of tickets. Yeah, I got a, no, I got a, <laughs> got a couple of tickets. You know. <laughs> yeah. What did you do during that uh, lightning delay, and kind of how did that? Uh, what did you do to stay good? Like, uh, I would listen to some music, you know. Just, just stay mellow. I want to listen to no rowdy stuff. I want to listen to some slow jams, you know. <laughs> Keep me steady. <laughs> uh, you had 179 yards tonight, but your one two is 15 yards. There's a lot of times um, five, 10 yard carries and a lot of games tonight. Do you prefer as a player to have like some of those breakaway runs or those times where like you know like the defense is going to stop you from picking up first down? I love, I love breakaway runs. You know, that's that's. Pretty much my goal is explosive, so I haven't had a um, long touchdown run this season yet, like I did last year, and it's kind of like, you know, making me mad because you know I got a goal, I have expectations that I want to reach, so I'm my biggest critic. But we got the dub, so I really don't care as long as we win. So <laughs> the win trumps the, the, the you know, the, the self game that you want. You know what I'm saying? The team. It's more about the team than the individual. So, anything else for Gerald? Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Peace out.